Let's move on to chapter 15, part 3, on page 209, 210, and 211. In the previous session, we have completed about formation of multiple images. Multiple images of an object is formed by when two mirrors are placed inclined to each other at any angle, we can have multiple images of any object. Same principle is applied in making kaleidoscope also. Kaleidoscope is also working under the principle of multiple reflection in which three rectangular pieces of mirror which are inclined to each other at a 60 degree angle, there we get different images, different images of an object. Here the objects are small pieces of colored glass or bangles. Look at this setup and if we make this such kaleidoscope, we can see different beautiful patterns of the bangles. This is because of multiple image formation due to three mirrors which are kept inclined at angle 60 degree. Now let's move on to lateral inversion. If you stand in front of the mirror, if you lift your hand, if you lift your right hand, it seems you have lifted your left hand. Such a phenomenon due to which left hand side of the object appears to be right hand side in a plane mirror and right hand side of an object appears to be left hand side in the plane mirror is called lateral inversion. This can be seen only in plane mirror. Activity 6 is, is also showing that plane mirror produces lateral inversion. If you show P in front of the mirror, it is shows like this lateral position. Let's discuss about some of the characteristics of images formed by plane mirror. You know that if you stand in front of the mirror, what are the characteristics of images formed in the mirror? Your image is formed in the mirror, isn't it? What are the characteristics? The image is virtual. Why it is virtual? It is not appearing back or not appearing on the screen. It is forming inside the mirror. So it is virtual and this image is same size of you. So the image formed in the plane mirror is same size of an object. <coughs> then image is formed as far behind the mirror as object is in front of you. For example, if you are standing 1 meter away from the mirror, the image will be formed 1 meter inside from the mirror. So the distance between you and the image is 2 meter. How? From the mirror, your distance is 1 meter and from the mirror, image distance is 1 meter. So what is the distance between you and the image? It is 2 meter. Image is laterally inverted. The image is always erect. Now let's move on to topic dispersion. What is dispersion? When the white light passes through the prism, this light split into different colors, seven different colors called Vibgia. This is called dispersion of light. You know rainbow. The rainbow is also the process of dispersion. Here rainbow, raindrops act as a prism. When the sunlight passes into that, you can see seven different colors Vibgia rainbow. Eight scientists, Sir Isaac Newton was the first to obtain spectrum of sunlight by passing sunlight through a prism. He passed narrow beam of sunlight through the prism and back of the prism he kept a white screen. He observed that the band of different colors are formed on the screen. That is of Vibgiar, violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. These are the colors formed as a band on the screen, fall on the screen. 